Hey, good to see you. I'm John Zadar, and this is Wednesday, February 9th. You're watching On Top and Hot. Now, before I tell you these are brought to you by Titan Trading, I got to tell you I'm moving. Yes, I'm being spun out. Penny Boys is giving me my own YouTube channel for On Top and Hot and all the other things I do. Penny Boys is strictly going to be for education now. So, I'm going to be moving to Stock Wizard. I will be bringing my videos over there and probably posting some new ones too. I'll be using the same name, you know, and the same words. So look for Zadar and On Top and Hot. I don't want to lose you and I hope you don't want to lose me. So what do I do here on On Top and Hot? I look at penny stocks and OTC stocks. I go looking for things that are either moving now or going to be moving, have potential, whatever, and then I share them with you. And I got three I want to show you today. Now these three stocks were unique because I couldn't just find DD and press releases. Two out of three did not have press releases or tweets. So this will be an interesting bunch to show you. Come along. I'm anxious to do just that. So first stock up is Golf. Four. <laughs> we are going to be doing our initial due diligence on the otcmarkets.com website simply because it's always current. Why should I go searching for information on an OTC stock when I know it's always current here? Right? So we are looking at Golf. This is Golf Court. She had a strong day. Can't even say it's done yet. It's bouncing here. I see it go up and down right before me as I'm talking to you. She's at 46 cents right now, uh, just under 49%. She's on the pink tier. She's current. She's got a transfer agent verified, but she's a shell company. She has no business right now. She's not making any revenues. Nothing is going on. Uh, they are hoping to get into blockchain. That's what they're shooting for. Now, there was no news today. There was no tweets, really. There was nothing going on. But there was some information. It was just obscure. But it wasn't hidden. You can see a lot of people obviously saw it because the volume jumped from 1.7 million to 6.6 .6 million shares. And what is her share structure? Eh, average, we got 177 million shares. Now, there are no disclosures. There's nothing going on. There's no financials. And you can see there is no news. However, there is information, as I said. This piece of news here, information, came from the courts of Nevada. Whenever someone brings up a filing or a claim or anything about a company in a court, it is filed and it is public information. It's just not put out in news presses. You actually have to go to the state's site to get the information or find sites that retrieve that information for you. And that's where I got this. So this told us early in the morning that George Sharp was going to court and he was going to be fighting to get 50 million shares removed from the company. I don't know what opposition he was going to have to face, but I checked on uh, Twitter later on today. He succeeded. He got him down. So that's why the stock was moving. George Sharp is cleaning this stock up from an expert to a pink. He got custodial ship of it a long time ago. Now he's taking off shares. He's bringing that share count down. He's about ready to go into blockchain, right? So people are excited and that's what they're investing in. Seeing momentum, seeing progress. So let's go take a look at that chart and see what it looks like. This is G-O-F-F, six-month, four-hour chart, and we're doing this on Thinkorswim. Do you need a trading platform? Sign up with TD Ameritrade. Get yourself a free account, no money. You don't even have to make them your primary account and trade with them. Just keep your account open, and you can use this too. So our six-month chart here shows right there when George Sharp filed for custody to get this company. And then there was a lot of patience, a lot of patience, and it fell below the 200. Something happened here, he probably won custody or became current, something like that, and it shot high. Went all the way down to six cents and went to 76 cents. Wow, you're talking 1,200% jump. Woo, and it fell hard, it fell hard, but it stayed above the 200 with a lot of jumps on it, including today's, which bounced off that 200 perfectly. Let's come down to that five day, five minute. All right, she took a fall from the 200 right there. Fell hard, went sideways, got even with our 200 haul. Is riding that downhill, which is sad. And then came today. Now that news, that filing that I showed you that came from the court came out early. That came out before the bell. So there was a bump, 
initially because it closed down here there, there was a bump up let's come in on that yeah she jumped up real quick came down and sideways and right about here I guess is what time is that that is about 12 20 I'm gonna presume maybe that's when the word got out that he won and the 50 million shares came off that's what 50 million shares will get you it jumped from about uh, 27 cents up to 50 cents almost a hundred percent and she is far above the 50 percent mark I like to take halfway point between the bottom and the top of a surge and if it stays above it that tells me she's a strong stock and this one stayed way above 50 percent gains and everything is still pointing up now this is interesting look at the MACD the MACD is falling the RSI is falling just here initially but it was slowly falling all in the red here but the price is not falling look at that 10 day actually climbing as the MACD is falling that is definitely a sign of power she's holding herself up with less volume see a lot less volume than she had and she's holding herself up and actually climbing slowly so she hasn't got any real catalyst but she's got some real followers is this going to do anything else I didn't think it would get this much for that so I really can't tell you folks but you can see even information that's not sitting in front of us on the table can make a stock move and a lot of times that is what's making stocks move when you go looking you go and see oh golf is moving today you do some dd you can't find any reason might be something happening at court let's go take a look at the next stock well, I'm going to have to hurry up and show this one to you because this isn't going to be a penny stock very much longer. It's at $4.44, had 50% gains today. If it goes 56 cents more, it's going to hit $5. Any stock under $5 is a penny stock, regardless of what market it's sold on. So this is still a penny stock. And I want to show it to you now because I think this is going to explode. Now, there was no news today. No, not really. There was news, old news, but... I found tweets today that they corresponded with this company but the more I looked at the information and dug into it I really didn't see that they were reading it right but in my digging I found some information and wow this company's got something to offer they just haven't got it out there yet I mean they're in business they are from South Korea but coming to the US is just happening now and I'm gonna share that with you so what sort of volume was around this company today normally 25,000 shares a day today she did 350,000 roughly so you've got a big jump there and what about her share count well how about that mm-hmm almost six million just six million she is a low float folks and I honestly believe that this company is going to be huge this company thinks that they could be one of the top 10 companies in the world by market caps they believe so and I'm gonna share with you what, what it's about and I'll get your opinion so we have a super float for a great idea with lots of potential which is just coming in to the view uh, what do we have for financials nothing it's a shell company disclosures we got nothing what we've got is just a couple pieces of news over here now these all three of these really are the same piece of news at different points in time but basically they all say the same thing that metal arts had done a reverse merger with this company called medium Inc out of South Korea now this company was hard to find information on but I did my best I found a video somebody else found that video which is probably a good place to start the company has a lot of different products but primarily their focus and flagship is their hardware their hardware is to accelerate blockchain think of it like the Pentium processors you know every time we had a new fast processor come out it was a big deal everybody wanted the fastest computer and now we have a situation where we're going to need a faster blockchain this company's been around I found news all the way back to 2020 and they had this product back then well now we're into 2022 and I'm telling you the last couple of years for blockchain has been explosive and it's growing at an exponential rate well there seems to be a problem seems that blockchain can only handle 3000 TPS that is transactions per second that seems to be the ceiling so they've created this product 
which can, well, there's your products. They've got this MBPU, which is like a CPU. They've got the MDL core, and their third product is this MXP. And they work with the processors, but they magnify and multiply the processing power all the way up to 100,000 TPS. And they say we're gonna need it. When you realize that every single company, everybody's gonna be on blockchain because that's where the internet's going. And when you think about it, the internet started off, what, 20 years ago? And people started bringing computers into their home. It was only the lonely people or the geeks that had them. There were no big companies or corporations using them, not the way we use the internet now. But now every company has a digital uh, placement on the internet. Well, it's gonna be the same thing with the blockchain. And 3,000 transactions per minute for a population of almost 7 billion probably isn't gonna be enough. And this company is the only company that has anything like this and nobody's come close. Matter of fact, he makes a few comments down here which are worthy of reading. This is uh, Panjang, uh, I can't remember his last name, Panjang is the CEO. He says, Medium finally solved the problem of speed that no global company has solved until now through hardware, not by software. He continues by saying, through such achievements, Medium will become a leading global blockchain platform that has overcome the shortcomings of leading platforms such as Ethereum and EOS. In one of the articles I was reading, he says, when you increase the TPS, you can then bring down the gas fees because the burden of the transactions is not falling behind and getting in a queue. So it'll actually help bring the price down just to transact. He goes on to say that Medium's ultimate goal is to become a company of the 10 largest global companies in terms of market capitalization. That's a huge statement to make. I'm confident that if this technological goal is achieved, Medium will become the world's leading blockchain company. I did tell you that I was having a hard time finding information on this company, but I did find this other article. And this came out in May, which was a few months before the merger. Now in this, well, this is a real long one. I can't actually cover everything in here. If you get a chance, come on over here and read this. It's got a lot of information and it's not outdated. It really is about what's happening. And if you can't find the article, I just gave it to you. Pause and read. So we go back to May and we learn that they made an acquisition of KOK Play. There was no news press. They weren't even a public company yet. So this was the best you got was an article. And this KOK Play is no little thing. Over in South Korea, they are a big organization. They're involved with tokenization, entertainment, gaming, the metaverse. You may want to go read this article. Uh, but primarily, what I wanted to show you here was from free distribution, this company gave away their product. Their product was given to companies like this. They've got a few more, but this is a list of the companies they gave their product to for free to use and allow them to access data, you know, to actually have guinea pigs out there using it first. And now they've got it. Now they are all revved up. So he tells us here that until now, we've been proving our technology through collaborations and references with global companies such as Samsung, SDS, and PeerSafe, as well as domestic and overseas government offices such as Road Transportation Corporation, Mint Corporation, and Chinese Academy of Sciences. Starting this year, we are expanding our business in a variety of ways based on their technologies and references. Then they went on and they made their merger and we haven't had a lot of news actually we've had none so I'm expecting this company to explode when they start putting news out I don't know what's going on but he's got a product that the whole bloody world is gonna need all of us and I don't think there is one piece of competition out there at this point in time so let's go take a look at that chart and see how that looks so that's the chart for MTRT, six month, four hour. And you wanna guess what date that is? Yeah, it's that August 31st when they had the merger. Somebody was paying attention, even though it wasn't a big news press, it really jumped. You're down here at roughly, oh, I don't know, maybe about a dime, 
15 cents and it went up to six dollars and 24 cents wow had some big drops in there you know but it kept going up then she fell lost it all had another big bounce i'm not quite sure what this one is for fell back down onto our 200 day sma and has had a nice spurt of growth here without any news or catalyst except for those misguided tweets i saw today the tweets i saw today had to do with medium Berna Bank doing a deal with Sony. Well, Media Berna Bank isn't Medium Inc. And I think the people got it confused. I mean, there is a Medium Berna Bank out there, but it ain't this company. So this bump may have just been out of confusion, misdirection, I don't know. But what about this bump? And what about that bump and that bump? I don't know. There's no news, there's no catalyst. What there is, is potential. This company has got a product that everybody's going to need there's just no way around it and there's no competition none i've heard of none so i'm very excited to bring this to you before it leaves pennyville because at this rate these mysterious bumps that it's taking every day and where was it just you know at the beginning of five days ago it was down at a dollar sixty and now we're up at 451 it is moving very quickly on no news now i didn't check we didn't do any searches on insider trading there may have been some buys by management because they like to buy the stock when it's cheap just before they announce something big so i'd keep my eye on mtrt and you may want to get in before it does any more of these mysterious bounces because a chip that can do from 3,000 TPS to 100,000 TPS and can be put on platform and cloud, I think everybody is gonna want that. Now we're taking a look at a stock that had almost 1,500 trades just today. This is BRBL Brew Built Brewing. Finished the day under a half a penny, 0.0038, 33% gains. She's on the pink tier and current and got all her good green marks over there, so we're happy with her. They tell us that Brew Built Brewing Company is a craft beer producer based in Grass Valley, California. Brew Built Brewing offers its own lineup of craft ales and lagers, as well as contract and white label brewing services. White label means we'll make the beer and we'll put it in your bottle, we'll put your label on it, you can say it's your beer, but we know it's our beer. That's what white label is. Now the company had two pieces of news today. They were different and both of them good. Now before we jump into that, let me show you what was going on today. This is current market. I use this a lot on the OTC markets. I come over here to the advancers and I can see who's had the biggest gains, who sold the most dollar volume, who sold the most shares, and also who's had the most trades. I like looking at that. The way I see it, if there's a lot of trades, there's a lot of people. Now, I'm gonna show you three things here. MTRT, we looked at that one, 561 trades today. We looked at Goff, G-O-F-F, -F, 1,477 trades. Brewbilt down here, B-R-B-L with 1,455 trades. So this is one way you can see lots of companies get very few trades. But then of course, right now we're not getting a lot of volume. Today we had, let's refresh this just to make sure it's right, 8.6 billion shares. Folks, a year ago at this time, we were doing over 50 billion shares a day. We are under 10 billion. That's why there's so many ones. There's not a lot to go around. All right, so what was the volume? Well, I just told you. Actually, I didn't tell you the volume. I told you that she had a lot of trades. Her volume increased from 18 million to 232 million. That's what 1,455 trades will get you. What is her share structure? Got about a quarter billion shares, 245 million roughly. Financials, are they making anything yet? They are making some money. Uh, actually, that's all the way back in 2020. How about quarterlies? Yeah, the last quarter they made uh, $68,000. There's three zeros here you put behind these numbers. So we see September of 2021's quarter, they made $68,000. We don't see anything from that point forward. All right, I'm just going to jump over into the news now and show you what I found. We have two pieces of news today, February 9th. 
Brew Belt Brewing rallies 16% on commencing craft brewery facility construction. That piece of news is right here. Today, Brew Belt Brewing Company announced that it has commenced construction of its new commercial brewery space in Grass Valley, California. The company has assigned the construction project to Bolzarth Construction, which will begin work immediately. The approximately 7,000 square foot building will allow Brew Belt to launch craft beer sales throughout California and beyond. Boy, California's got a ton of craft beers. Mr. Lewis further stated the plans for our phase one brewery include a 20 barrel brew house capability of producing at least 4,000 barrels annually with revenue potentials of $3.5 million. And then there was this piece of news. And I'm going to just say the company for brew built brewing because it's almost a tongue twister and I'm getting locked up here. Today, the company brew built manufacturing announced that its distribution partner in Finland has officially closed the required bank financing to purchase their brew belt manufacturing brew house and fermentation tanks, which will serve as the production hub of their Mad Fin Brewing Company, as well as a brew belt showroom for sales to European markets by Brewery Ninjas, their brewery equipment distribution arm. Now, Brewery Ninja plans on selling brew belt manufacturing equipment to the European community, while Madfin anticipates brewing in their own 1,000 square meter facility, as well as distributing craft beer produced by Brew Belt Brewing Company. I went and said it anyways, in Northern California. The synergy between brew belt manufacturing and the company is expected to support distribution and sales for South Pacific traders in Europe. So those are the two pieces of news came out. They're building a building in California to start their craft beers and they've got European distributors over there also getting ready to move their product. So let's go see what the market thought about it. We're a lot of traders and some gains. That is a six month, four hour chart for BRBL. She had a whopping high back here for this six months of uh, about 10 and a half cents. Boy, did she take a fall. Don't know what that was about. Obviously, something bad. And okay, our 200. I was looking for the 200. We're way over here. She has been falling consistently for quite a while. She's needed something. The volume has been very skint. Very skint indeed. Uh, let's come in on that 20 day, one hour look. All right, there's your 200. She is firmly underneath it, hitting low bubbles. She's sitting more on top of our 200-day haul. The 200 is 200 days averaged out, but the 200 hauls 200 days averaged out with more credence given to current affairs. So the price is right around her 200 haul until today's news. Today's news launched it, but that is sad, folks. You see how high that went, and it came right back down. You know why that is. That is because of that right there. All these people, lots and lots of these people just want out. They've been holding on too long, invested at dearer prices, and they just want out. And some people will sell at a loss once they see a bump because they're just tired of waiting. Let's come down to that five day, five minute. So she was meandering up and down here. Where, where is she there? She's at about uh, uh, 0 0.0037, 0 0.0026. So there was a 33% drop right there. She went sideways and she jumped here. Okay, she ended right there at about 003, went to 006. That was a 100% gain up till, oh, that ended at about a quarter to noon Eastern Standard Time. And then it all fell away and she came right back down onto that 200. Now, the way I see it, the news that came out today isn't anything immediate. It's telling everybody they're going to have to wait. Yeah, we're starting construction, but that's not going to be bringing in any revenues. We're not making any beer in the bathtub. And the one in Europe, sounds like they're getting things going over there too. They just bought the vat and the fer fermentation tanks. So it's not like they're going to be making money next month. And I think that's what happened. Yeah, the news was exciting. People got in and then a bunch of people sold and probably day traders too. Day traders got in and caught that rise and got 
out and she fell fast and she's sitting on there she has bounced a couple times off of that 200 which is a good sign at least she stopped uh, she is in the basement of the RSI look at that we don't really see that we we like to see it red up here not frozen uh, underneath the uh, frozen lake so she is way down the MACD has had a well, I didn't even have a crossover never got over it's underneath so everything looks very pathetic and sad however I show it to you because there was good news probably is gonna be something few months from now half a year from now I don't know but the company had a jump on the news and being on top of that news first thing in the morning folks is very important DD isn't just about reading charts it's getting into that news before the market starts keep up with it through the day jump back into that news wherever you get your news follow it and as soon as you see a piece of news come up you may want to think about attacking that stock with a fast Momo play everybody's gonna get in you get in get out before they do take your gains and call it a day so you saw my trick for today I just went over to the otcmarkets.com I used their current market page and I went and looked at trades and I look for those trades that have got hundreds or thousands going on and it's real easy to see them when you seven one 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 two one thousand four hundred fifty five hmm wonder if this one's worthy of looking at you never know what you're gonna find and sometimes you gotta go further than just the press you know half of what I found wasn't in the press it was articles the other half wasn't even in articles or the press it came from court filings there is information all over so if you see a stock that's moving and can't find any information go over to Twitter maybe somebody over there at least can give you a heads up because there's lots of people looking at stuff over there in lots of different places remember folks DD is interesting it's constantly changing it's like the sky never the same thing twice the more you know the more you're gonna grow see you folks